Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So in this video we will discuss on how to simulate our PLC programming in our software here Logix Pro Simulator Alright, let's start So as you know PLC have uh, these uh, two power lines on the left and right hand side with the wrong in between of the power lines right so this is our working PLC environment uh, and then uh, in this uh, software we can actually do simulations with different simulator so if you can see here we have different uh, simulators for example IO simulator, door simulator, silo, traffic, batch and so on okay so let's start uh, with the simplest one which is IO simulator here alright so as you can see at the uh, our left hand side here we have different uh, IOs that we can choose from alright so for example here uh, at the first column right we have uh, different different number of uh, input and output right so I1 for input uh, 0 2 for output I3 for input again and 0 4 for uh, output okay so uh, let's say we have uh, this simple uh, circuit where we have the input at our left hand, hand side and one output at our right hand side right so you, you can you know uh, simply uh, you know manually input uh, the address of your input and output here all right you can for example you can if you want to use the i10 you can simply put i uh, colon one uh, you know slash zero like that okay uh, and for output o uh, colon uh, two slash zero right so this one this one representing this one and this one representing the output here right you can manually put like that or you know you can drag this directly okay drag this okay so for example you want to use the second uh, IO here which is I11 you click here and drag right so now one I11 okay okay uh, you can always put the name of the input and output as well so just right click edit symbol so let's say you want to uh, put it as start okay this one moto maybe you want to uh, you know blink the uh, light okay okay so now we have the complete uh, yet very simple uh, PLC programming here uh, let's try to simulate right so from offline here you have to change to online here okay and then you have to download the program into the PLC okay downloading the program and then finish now you go to run and choose this one uh, to simulate the uh, program okay see right so you need to always push this to activate the light right okay uh, let's say we, wa we don't want to uh, you know always push this to uh, to make sure the, the light is always on what do we need to use we need to actually uh, you know add a latching circuit here right so how to do that we have to go to offline uh, again so you can choose offline here go offline or you can simply you know just push this button to go offline okay now just add the uh, latch circuit here so you can drag this push button here and then put the input so as you know uh, latching circuit uh, always uh, you know the output uh, to be the input 
uh, here right so so you can directly drag you know or you can uh, manually input uh, whatever output that you want to use here okay uh, let's say you want to put another uh, input you can always do like that okay so this one is normally close normally open so you can simply you know uh, if you make a mistake uh, so for example if you want to uh, put a normally open but you uh, you know mistakenly put the normally close here you can right click and change this very easy okay so let's say you want to use uh, normally close here so uh, just uh, drag another input to this right so we call it uh, stop push button okay okay so now we have a complete uh, latching circuit so let's try to uh, simulate this so go to online again download run okay so instead of me have to push this uh, all the time to make sure the light is on I just have to trigger once okay once and the light will always turn on due to the latching circuit okay and how to actually uh, turn off this light simply trigger the uh, stop button so that this one will be open and uh, there's no longer signal going into the light so let's try okay so this is a very simple example of uh, IO simulator that you can use in Logix Pro uh, simulator software.